what I'm saying is that it should be normative for in within our culture for men to carry a satchel like it was in Indiana Jones's day. I just, oh. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, we're out here on the gun range today. Uh, Ryan and I are having a blast out here so far. Uh, Literally. This is my friend and pastor. Uh, he has brought some crazy guns with us to review today. This is an H&K P30. Yes. So this is an HK P30. It's a, uh, obviously, HK's German company. And it uh, comes standard with night sights. It is, does, it's a polymer gun, but it does have the hammer on the outside, which is one of the things I really like about it. Um, just because I like to be able to have the control of decocking the hammer, which you can't get with a Glock or a Canic or a VP9, something like that. Yeah, which is funky, because it kind of looks like it should be a striker-fired pistol, not a hammer-fired pistol. Well, and they do have a variant that's called the VP9 that is. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my best friend William is really excited about that gun. Yes. So, uh, comes with night sights, uh, three dot, and then, unlike the last couple guns we shot, it does have a safety on the outside. No grip safety. Yeah, it looks safety, like it's got a no blade safety. safety there. It is, with this gun, they want it to be ambidextrous, so everything is ambidextrous. The slide release is ambidextrous on both sides. The safety is ambidextrous on both sides. Um, this also has a neat little feature that some of the HKs have. This little button here will, if I take it off safe, decock the hammer so that oh. it'll fall on the bullet without firing. Um, this, as a safety feature, similar to the Springfield XDs, if there was a bullet in here, this little fin would uh, pop yes. out uh -huh. and be a bullet indicator. Yeah, that seems to be more of a, a common thing in, in guns these days, which I like. Yeah, you, you can when tell it, if it's When it chambered. sticks out, all you got to do is you can just move your finger over it and you can tell that it's loaded and ready to go, which is nice. Yeah, if this is loaded and chambered sitting on the counter, I can tell because I can see that fit. Mm -hmm. um, now, these do not come standard with this compensator. I got this compensator and added it on. It's kind of nice. It just goes onto the accessory rail at the bottom. I think awesome. And it has another accessory rail on the bottom if you want to add a flashlight or anything, but... I picked this it up. It also makes it look like a Tomb Raider gun. Yeah, it looks like a Tomb Raider <laughs> gun, or um, this is this uh, this is a variant of the gun that John Wick used in John Wick 1. He used a P30L, so it's a little bit longer, and he had a custom compensator on it kind of like this, which is what made me aware of the H&K years ago, and I was like, well, I want to be John Wick. <laughs> so I went out and got it. It's uh, also got the finger grooves on it, which I happen to like. Yes, and it does have modular panels, like we were talking about in the previous video with the Glock. Oh, you can change them out? On the sides and the back. Nice. Yeah, so you can have, you want a fat boy, you can have a fat boy. You want a skinny boy, you can have a skinny boy. So um, I find this, this, these are a little more expensive, but the is this, German is engineering is well felt in this. It is really well put together. Everything is smooth. So How much does that gun run for? Uh, this right now, post COVID, you could be paying eight hundred plus. Uh, and that's depending. without that's without the compensator. Yes, uh, if you can get one for seven hundred range, that's pretty good. Uh, I have seen them go for eight hundred in COVID times, but MSRP is probably around low sevens. If I had to guess, I don't have gun broker in front of me right now, right. but um, it comes with. Uh, is this a nine? This is a nine millimeter. Okay. Uh, it comes with uh, two 15-round uh, magazines, so a little bit bigger than some of the other guns, but not as big as say a Canic. Um, but yeah, it's... Yeah, I would think with the size of that magazine, that could hold 17 rounds. You'd think, but 16. Um, and it's all metal compared to like the Glock mags, which are polymer. And you can get extended magazines. I have an extended magazine for this that holds 20. Jeez. So, um, but yeah, the, the thing that is interesting about it is the trigger. Because the trigger is really well put together, very clean. But unlike a lot of modern polymer handguns, it has a lot of uptake before you get to the wall. So it basically, if, if someone is shooting this for precision, they pull it back, they find the wall. The, vault, the wall is very easy to find. It's, it's not something you have to guess at. Yeah. And then like there's a lot of take up. There's there. a lot yeah. of take up, but then it's crisp. It's a really crisp trigger pull. So That's a ridiculous amount of take up. Uh, well, okay. I mean, some people would like it, though. It has a lot of control versus uh, another gun like a SIG where you might pull and it's like, okay, the take up isn't there but I am meeting res the same amount of resistance to get to the wall. Yeah. So it's just like, you have to pull harder. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Those are so. the guns that really grind my gears is where you don't have the crisp wall. And then you're just kind of like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is yeah. it? Where is it? I used to have a SIG, uh, oh, what was it? Anyway, it was in, it was in a 40. I think it was a 320 or something like that. But it, um, the thing I didn't like about it was a trigger. I couldn't, I couldn't find the take up or anything like that. I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with it. And, um, so I ended up, I was like, this is an overpriced paperweight, and I got rid of it, and I <laughs> picked up a different gun. <laughs> so, but yeah, I've had this 
uh, for probably five years. And I now you mentioned that the uh, the back strap and all this stuff in here was interchangeable. How mm -hmm. many different ones does it come with? It comes with three different sets, but the nice thing is that, let's say uh, I want a little more grip on this side than on this side, I can put a plate from one and a plate from another set. Uh, so I could have one, two, three different plate okay. sets. All so when you're saying three different sets, it actually comes with nine pieces. It comes with nine pieces, that's three different cool. sets. So yeah. you have three variations. Total with customization set. of the grip. Mm -hmm. That's pretty freaking sweet. Yeah. So it's if I match, don't like the grip on that one, it's because it's been custom made for Ryan's hand and not pretty mine. Much. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to gripe about the grip whatsoever. So. Anyway, let's see how it shoots. Alrighty. We're at about ten yards. Which is. Mocking me. Well, I killed its brother. <laughs> yeah. That's about that, 10 yards. That you little said? one there on the right just doesn't want to get hit. No, <laughs> no matter what we shoot at, about 10 okay. yards. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that's uh, I forgot to mention that is interesting about this too is that um, American guns and European guns, one there's one thing that's really different between them, like across the board, with the exception of some of the Russian uh, variants, is that most of the time your magazine release is a button. Americans like buttons, Germans like levers. So it's actually by the, uh, yeah, the, the magazine release is actually a fin right here on the trigger guard. I'll be danged. Is that on both sides? Yes, it's ambidextrous. And uh, so one of my friends who doesn't shoot much picked this up and actually, because he just couldn't get used to that fin, he dropped the magazine after every shot. Oh. Because he, he would have his hand like here and I would try and tell him, move your hand up. And he'd be like, okay, bang, drop yeah. every time. Definitely something to consider for people that are thinking about buying this gun. Mm -hmm. I know various guns can cause people to drop the magazine depending on where the magazine release button is. Public service announcement, don't buy a Kimber Micro 9. What's wrong with the Kimber Micro 9? Every time you pull the trigger, the magazine drops out. Oh, well, that could be a problem. Like I've, heard actually, I've actually heard good things about those guns, but I've never shot, shot one. I, I owned one as my conceal and carry piece for a while. And when I would pull the trigger, I would even like do this just to test it. Finger, like hand, not even anywhere near the button, bang, drops the mag. Wow. Which is not good. Um, yeah, now they were hard. aftermarket mags, but even then. So anyway. Well, back in the day, aftermarket mag, mags were terrible. Well, I this Beretta, wasn't. And I thought it was the Beretta's problem because it, it just wouldn't shoot. This wasn't back in the day. This was like eight months ago. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you want to give it a run? All right. All right. Oh, actually, I really like that grip. Yeah. Yeah, the grip is freaking nice. Get wiki with it. Ah, <laughs> uh, you got to chamber it. Oh, right. Oh, the slide is nice, too. Yeah, it's smooth. Shoot her! Yes! Got them both. That little one felt your wrath. Yeah. Very well not done. Bad. Uh, okay. So, thoughts. Uh, the recoil on this is nice. It's very, very manageable. It, this piece in the front might have something to do with that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, the trigger is really weird. It's like squeezing one of those uh, stress balls. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Until you get to the, the take up point. But once you get there, Beauty. holy smokes, it is freaking sweet. So this part is like really, I can't describe it any other way than a stress ball. It's just really squishy. Spongy. Yeah, but when you get there, the wall is so nice. Like, like Ryan was saying earlier, you can just squeeze right here, find the wall super easy, and then release. And it gives you a really nice shot every time. The, uh, the only downside that I have found to this gun compared to other guns in my collection is that this one checks all the boxes unless you want to shoot fast. Because there's so much take up, it, it does take an extra fraction of a second to, uh, to fire off the shots really quick. Or at least it can. I would, I would think that when you hit it there... You'd find the reset. And then the reset... Isn't bad. Oh, I see. But there's, yeah. there's still uh, going to be some take up. Let's get a shot of that. Okay, so... This is weird from the opposite angle, but... The trigger... You got that, that spongy squeeze and then the brake. And then when you release, there's the reset, but then you gotta squeeze that spongy section again yeah. to get back to the wall. 
So I can see how that would be a little annoying. Very accurate, but not great for speed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, with a little practice and you get used to it. Oh, yeah. I actually really like this gun. Yeah. This yeah, might yeah. be my favorite gun that we've shot so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, really like the, the grip. The grip is, like, custom made. Wes, you liked a gun better than a Glock. Yeah. Hallelujah! <laughs> I don't know if I'd carry this one, though, just because of how beefy it is, but, I mean, you could get it without this piece. Yes, and yeah, yeah. It's... It actually just attaches with hex screws. Yeah. It's very easy to attach and remove. But, I mean, here's the thing about carrying concealed. I mean, the grip may feel nice, but you can see how fat that is. So it'd be pretty kind of kind of hard to carry that in your pants. But... And you up can... here, you're also talking about... This is, this is basically a full-size double-stack gun. And remember, the panels can come off, though, right. too. But you can't do anything about the slides width. Right, and why would you want to change the panels when you got such a nice grip uh, on it? Yeah. It actually looks like did, did, this piece is different than this piece, isn't it? Might be. I just remember going with what was more comfortable. Yeah, I just kept switching around. And it around is so really happy. comfortable. I don't know if Ryan and I have the same hands or what, but I mean, my hand just settles into this gun. It's freaking sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't so freaking chunky, I would probably want this as my concealed carry piece. Even though the, the, the trigger on it is funky, I don't like shooting shots really, really fast. The reset could be gotten used to very, very easily. I mean, you just saw I was a pretty good shot with it. I mean, right, right out of the gate. This thing's awesome. Well, and they do make a shorter variant. They make for, one for with like a shorter for barrel? Conceal, for conceal and carry. It's called the P30SK. And how much shorter is the barrel? Comes to about there. Hmm. And then I think the grip is a little shorter. Oh, too. no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have the money for that sort of thing right okay. now. Okay. But <laughs> responsibility. Yeah, this thing is, this thing is awesome. Uh, this, this give, I would give this a 9.5 out of 10. And, and the only things that I would, that I would have a beef with were the, would be the magazine release, just because it's kind of funky. If you can see right here, I can't even get my thumb no, 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 but to the see, magazine here's the, release. Here's the beauty, and it's one of those things you just get used to. I can actually drop the mag out of this faster than any of my other guns. How's that? You don't use your thumb. Hmm. The Let finger just, <laughs> you're used to having your finger here for the trigger. It just slips to here. That's it. It's actually, for me, it's faster than any other gun. Once you get used to it. Eh. Well, maybe <laughs> not for everybody. <laughs> but with with whenever it's a uh, whenever I have to remove it with the button, I always have to move my hand okay. around the gun. Yeah. On this one is just once you got that spot. Yep. I don't know because then I just accidentally hit the the safety, which could be another issue. I think for me, I I would just turn it sideways like this and release it. But you just get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and do the sign off, Wes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, really, really awesome gun. If you get a chance, you should check it out. That thing is freaking sweet. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.